Pre-Cal 12, Chapter 6.2. For this lesson, we're going to look at angles in the standard position and arc length. Degrees is not a convenient unit to use for a lot of trigonometry. And here's the definition. Radian is the ratio between the arc length and the radius. Radians is a natural unit because we're comparing one length to another length. So it's a ratio to measure the angle. And arc length, we normally use S as the letter to represent arc length. If we happen to go all the way around this circle, what is the arc length? Well, it's the same as the circumference. And that's 2 pi r. What happens when we divide the circumference by the radius? We get 2 pi. So that's the radian measure for going around the circle. And that equates to 360 degrees. So let's look at the properties for radians. The angle is simply s divided by r. Arc length divided by r. The arc length is the absolute value of r times theta. You'll need to use absolute value You need to use absolute value if you're actually doing arc length. Remember length cannot be negative. If it's a displacement, then you wouldn't use absolute value. And to determine this, you need to use the context from word problem. Okay, so in math, we try not to blindly use formulas. We need to look at the context, determine what we need, and select the correct formula. And the radius is simply the arc length divided by the angle. And initially, you'll probably want to convert between degrees and radians until you get used to using radians. So to get the degree measure, we take 180 degrees times the radian measure, divide that by pi. To get the radian measure, we take pi times d, the degree measure, and divide that by 180. So let's look at some examples. 30 degrees, convert this to radians. This is pi times 30 over 180. And we always want to reduce this. So this is just pi over 6. 270 degrees, pi times 270 over 180. And we get 3 pi over 2. And to be correct, we should put rads. Negative 135, so pi times negative 135 degrees over 180 degrees. And these degrees cancel out, and we get negative 3 pi over 4 radians. And for 720 degrees, pi times 720 over 180, and we get 4 pi radians. Okay, again, it's okay to convert when you're starting, but get into the habit of thinking in radians, especially for the special angles. So 30 degrees is pi over 6, 45 degrees is pi over 4, 60 degrees is pi over 3, 90 degrees is pi over 2. So those are the four angles you need to know for reference angles. And then you can get all the other angles based off of those reference angles. So here's a problem. Find the arc length. We have 85 degrees and a radius of 7.4. And we can't use degrees, so we need to convert to radians. This is pi. 85 degrees over 180 degrees, 
and this reduces to 17 pi over, over 36 radians. So S equals R theta, and that's 7.4 times 17 pi over 36, and that is approximately 10.978 units. Because there were no units given here, we just say units. 140 degrees and a radius of 5, so theta equals 140 pi over 180. And again, that's degrees, the degrees cancel out. And we have 7 pi over 9 radians. So S equals R theta. And we have 5 times 7 pi over 9. So this is 35 pi over 9 units. Okay, why did I leave this as rational? And this one as a decimal, because we have decimals here. That means we keep whatever units are given. So this is decimals, we give an answer in decimals. These are integers, we give our answer as a rational. Now, here we're given the angle is 3 pi radians, and we have a radius of 7. So, no conversion. So we just skip the step for the conversion because we already have radians. That's why radians are more convenient. So S equals R theta. We have 7 times 3 pi. And our answer is 21 pi units. Okay, last bit. We have another definition, the principal angle. This is the smallest positive coterminal angle. So, in other words, it's between 0 and 2 pi. Or if you prefer, 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Okay? So, principal angle is much easier to say than smallest positive coterminal angle. So, find the principal angle of 730 degrees. We can do 730 minus 360. And that's 370 degrees. This is not the principal angle. So we need to subtract 360 degrees again. 370 degrees minus 360 degrees equals 10 degrees. Negative 240 degrees. We need to add 360 degrees and we get 120 degrees. 5 pi. 5 pi is too big, so we need to subtract 2 pi, and we get 3 pi. 3 pi is too big, so we need to subtract 2 pi again, and we get pi. So our answer is there, there, and there. Finally, negative 3 pi over 2. This is too small, so we add 2 pi. and we get pi over 2. Okay, so we just keep adding 360 or subtracting 360 if you're working in degrees. And if you're working in radians, just subtract or add 2 pi until you get the principal angle. We'll learn a more efficient way later, but stick with that for now. And that completes our lesson.